Hello friends, welcome to KK Java Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we'll talk about git add command. Okay, so let's try to understand what does basically git add command. So here git add commands adds a change in the working directory to a staging area. So let's try to understand uh, through a pictorial diagram. So here you can see we have a work space or working directory and if you create any new file or you do any modification the existing file then first of all we issue git add right and git add basically adds files in the staging area so all the file if, you, if we want to stage then we use a, a git add command and afterwards you have to commit your changes right from a staging area so that committed file will be available in the local repository and after that we we use git push so that uh, our changes will be pushed on the remote repository and that will be available uh, publicly yeah so uh, better to understand this git add command what i'll do i'll i'll use I, i'll try to explain you through a, a huge case so here i'm going to log in on my github account and i'm going to clone one my existing uh, git repo so this is my existing get repo uh, name of this repo is my repo so that i'm going to clone so here click over here and click here in this arrow so that this url will be copied and uh, now i'm going to open git bash command and here i'm going to move into my e directory yeah and here i'll issue a command is called git clone and paste this url git repository url and press enter so this is cloning basically uh, my repository in e drive so if i go to e drive here you can see the that cloned uh, my repo uh, that has been cloned right now <clears throat> i can go into this my repo so i do cd uh, my repo yeah so I'm inside this. So if I do ls, then here you can see there is two files. One is uh, readme and second is my file underscore txt, right? So if I do git status, right? Git status. So git status will tell you the clear, uh, clear, uh, uh, clear picture. Of what are the files uh, are created within your working space and that has not it added in the staging area right and what are the files have been added in the staging area right so here i am going to create few files so right now my just uh, we have cloned this direct uh, this uh, repository from the github so there is nothing to commit right and that's the message we are uh, getting over nothing to commit working tree clean so here i am going to create some file using touch command so i will do touch uh, touch my file underscore two dot txt file yeah so this file has been created here you can see uh, my file uh, <coughs> underscore to txt file now i'm going to create some few more files touch let's say test.java then two file i have created one is txt another is java if i do uh, get a status then here you can see there are two files right uh, we have created and saying that untracked file so now git is completely uh, unaware about these two files so git is suggesting that if you want to put it these files in a staging area then you may use git add command right so here there are uh, different approaches we can add these files in the staging area first we can do git add and we can give the file name like my file underscore two dot txt right so this command will add uh, this file my file two dot txt into a staging area. If we do git status, sorry, git space status, then here you can see now uh, my file two dot txt is added in the uh, staging area, which which which, which is a green color, and but uh, test dot java that is still is in untracked file, right? That is showing as untracked file. Now. I'm going to create few more files. Uh, let's say I would say test to dot Java right now. 
sorry my file underscore three dot txt so i have created now if i do git status then here you can see there are three files are still untracked now uh, we will we, we will add try to add more than one file at a time so earlier we have added one file at a time so we had used git add and file name now i'm going to git add i would say test dot java and my file underscore three dot txt so here at this time uh, we have used git add command to add more than one file but uh, here what we have done basically we have given the file name uh, and every file name has separated with the space so this is really tedious approach you have about 100 files then 100 files name you will have to write and this is not uh, basically good uh, way to uh, add all files in staging area so git gives you another way to basically add all file at once so what you can do so here uh, before that i would i would i would like i would like to tell you uh, you you can use git add command and here if you do start dot java right so you may use wildcard uh, as well so if i do git add start dot java means all files with extension dot java will be added in your staging area uh, at once similarly you can do git add start dot txt so all text file will be added so right now of course there is only one file left but you have if you have more than one then all file will be added so here you can see all files have been added into the staging area now i'm going to use git reset so that all files we can re-stage re we can we can uh, basically remove from the staging area so if you want to uh, so here i'm going to git reset so this will uh, basically uh, all uh, stages file will be removed so here you can see now all files are now again in the untracked uh, basically untracked file consider as untracked file means now we have removed all file from a staging area to all working directory now let's see i want to add all files in a staging area uh, at once then how we can do that we can we can use two commands in that case git add and here you can uh, after a space you can put a period or dot or you can you can also use a hyphen capital s so guys you need to keep in mind this capital a this is case sensitive so always you will have to go do the capital a right so either you can use git add a space period or git add hyphen a and once you press then all file uh, or all directory even files or all, all directory will be added in your staging area if i do git status then here you can say all the files have been added in the staging area now once you add files in the staging area right then what's the next next step so uh, the next step is, is to uh, commit your file into the local repository and for that we do the git commit afterwards afterwards you have to do git push so that all the changes will be pushed into your remote repository and publicly available so here now I'm going to go to git commit and of course you need to specify the commit message right so I would say my next commit right now uh, all the files have been added into a basically local repository now we can push this change into a remote repository so I'll do git push and once you do the git push then all the files we have pushed into the remote repository if i go to here and if i refresh then you'll see all the files are available on the remote repository so guys in this video tutorial we have learned how to use git add command with various options i hope you enjoy learning this video if you really like this video then hit on the like button didn't subscribe kk java tutorial till then please go ahead and subscribe and we'll see we will meet in the next video tutorial thank you